We are with Representative Sharon Wiley from the 49th District, America's Vancouver, as you call it. How are you doing? Doing really well, except it's only the second week, at the end of the second week, and it feels like it's been going on a lot longer. It sure does. I have two questions for you today. The first thing I want to ask you, because I heard something about the feminine hygiene products tax, and you have worked on that before. I sure have, several years, and this is part of a national trend to take a look at these products and say, wait a minute, these are necessary, and it's a tax that women pay. And so a lot of states have taken them off. When I introduced this a few years ago, we discovered that it was a really large fiscal hit, and it didn't pass. And so I've been taking a look at how our sales tax part of our system works. I'm supporting other folks who are introducing it this year, but I'm also taking a more long-term comprehensive approach. As someone on the Finance Committee, we take a look at all of our taxes, and there are other things that are increasingly necessary, particularly for an aging population. Adult and child diapers are an example. And so we're taking a comprehensive look at how we can make our sales tax system more fair overall. And we haven't taken a real comprehensive look at that for a while. So we're doing two things. I am supporting the other bills because we need to have this conversation but I'm also taking a more comprehensive look at what are the essential needs for people's health and dignity that maybe should have been included with food and medicine as being permanently exempt from sales tax. Uh, so we're trying to figure out a way to make that happen. Okay, and my second question is about marijuana product labeling. Is there a problem right now with how it's being labeled? Nobody's died. It's not like there's been a drastic problem. But more and more people are wanting to know what's in their product. Are there pesticides used? What kind of chemicals are used? And we have fragile people that are using medical marijuana and some people that are able to get their medical marijuana through a recreational dealer. And we've been very, very scrupulous about making sure that amounts and dosages are very, very clear on the packaging because we have a whole lot of products that contain either CBD or THC, the two components, one's for medical reasons, one's for recreational reasons. So we're just improving our product labeling so people can have legitimate assurances that no, there are no pesticides on this. I've had a lot of calls that people are really, really happy that I'm pursuing this bill.